guys. Okay, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that my podcast, in case you guys did not know, I have a podcast with my best friend Alicia. It is called Pretty Basic. Season two starts today, so if you guys wanna listen to the episode, it I think it was pretty interesting. We talked all about kind of like the business side of podcasting and like why we kind of had like such a long break and then what we've been up to for the past few months. So if you guys wanna listen, the links are all down below. We release new episodes every Wednesday. Check it out and let's get started with the video. What's up? It's Remy. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you all know, I love organizing, I love cleaning things, and my apartment is pretty clean for the most part. At least so you think. On the outside, it looks clean, but for the longest time now, my place has been pretty messy inside all the cabinets, and I decided today that I'm going to bring in some help, some professional help. So I hired my friend Bailey, also known as The Organized Bungalow. I'm gonna leave her Instagram link down below and she is going to help me clean out my kitchen and my bathroom and just everything. I make this place perfect and completely organized. Also don't forget, I do have a vlog channel, so if you guys wanna go check that out, it'll be linked down below and let's get to the video. Hi, I'm Bailey with Organized Bungalow. Today I'm just assessing every cabinet and just seeing how much we have to work with and just placing, see where everything fits and everything will work and find a home. So we just cleaned this out and now I'm going to play around with the spices and see if I can get them all to fit here and hopefully open this up for dishes. So everything's going good so far. We've moved everything around and everything's fitting where I planned. So crossing my fingers that that keeps happening along the way. I am a little worried about these water bottles, but I know I can make it work. Sarah, you're in the background. <laughs> and Sarah's in the background. <laughs> I was being so quiet. I was like tiptoeing. It's okay. The camera's over there. <laughs> what did you bring us today? So many containers. <laughs> Just gonna map it out today. Oh my god. Update. We're cleaning, throwing We're out all the stale stuff. Yes. Did you find some old stuff? There's a lot of old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are all these boxes right here for? These are all for underneath the sink, because she has a lot of stuff, so being able to stack will minimize the space and be able to store more. And then I got little bins, just kind of deeper ones for in the drawer, to easy to pull out with whatever items you're using at that moment, so just keep it all system. You ready for the restroom? Yes, I am. Everything in the bathroom is sorted by product, and now I am just making sure everything can fit back in and organize groups. We have one drawer done, and this is all body care. And then this is going to be face and hair, and then this is just gonna be like your everyday, easy to grab. All right guys, so we did our research. Hold for car. <laughs> Where even is it? Oh, it's a big van. All right guys, so we've done our research and I kind of have an idea of what kind of stuff I want to get. I have a list on my phone which I can't reach because I'm holding a dog. But in the list, I just kind of wrote down like what rooms I'm working on, kind of like ideas for things, and then we're just going to go into Home Goods, see what they have. So I'm going to get as much as I can here and then anything else that I can't find. Luckily, two stores down is the container store. So we're going to get everything else that we don't find there. You ready, Daisy? We're ready! She's like, oh, don't bother me. She hates this. Let's go! <laughs> Remy, get this boat. <laughs> 
Ooh, you need a boat in your house. I think I do need that boat. I think that would look great on the mantle that I don't have. <laughs> so I really want to get a little plant for my kitchen to like bring a little bit of color in. I'm already doing pops of blue, but I love little fake plants here. Oh, these are cute. Oh, there's marble. Oh. Now when you're decorating, give us some tips on things you look out for. I usually just follow a color scheme that I have in my head. I always like to do like blues, whites, or pinks, and then pops of like green and natural like woods and things, so. You got the crazy, where's this plant growing? And trim. Very trim. You're very right, I like this one. And this is only, there's no price tag, so it's free. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is my motto, and I live by this. What are you looking for right now? I'm looking for something to organize all my camera equipment, because that is just like out of hand. And this could be nice, it's just trying to find a space. Um, next to your desk in the living room, what about that? Oh, in that corner over yeah, there? Yeah, in the corner. Yeah, we could do that. What is that, for candles? You can use this for like pencils and stuff, but I think this would be good for my makeup brushes because I need to consolidate. She likes. She likes it, let's get it. How much is it? $7.99. Whoa. What is that for? These are great for storage. I also bought one of these from CB2 for a hundred. shoppers. Wouldn't you love to get paid to shop? Okay, change of plan. Eli just gave me the best idea. I have all my fuzzy blankets in these like little crate things under like my entertainment center, but it would make so much more sense to put the games in there, put the blankets in a basket. Cause it, <laughs> it's around here. It's so hard to put these fat blankets in this little square things that she has. So great. And look at all these different sizes. What else can I store? <laughs> <laughs> a little mini ironing board? Don't need, but want. This is so pretty, wow. Home Goods is my favorite place to find towels because they're like $3 and you can switch them out for the holidays if you want. Oh, okay. oh thank you. <laughs> Strangers, baby, forever, ever. I'm singing so it could get non copyright -y. I think these would look good on the kitchen, but if you want like Valentine's Day or whatever holidays coming up, Come here. Maybe we're perfect strangers. I get all of my dishes here. This is $6.99 and it's my favorite dish I own. And I'm gonna get this one because this is hangry and that's funny. Sit inside. Yes. Come on. She's like, Thanks. no. You big chunk. <laughs> <laughs> we love the random aisles that just have miscellaneous. Wow. Yes, purchase it. High five. <laughs> <laughs> we got the farmhouse. We got the beach house vibe. We're at the container store. She's living her best mom life right I now. I really am. You guys, there's like early 2000s, like Disney Channel music playing, I'm living. Also, Bailey asked me to pick up a couple specific boxes. I just don't know where, so we're gonna find them somewhere. All right, guys, I think I found the boxes Bailey was talking about. Do you think so, Daisy May? <laughs> yes? We've got medium and we've got large, I think. Too, maybe too large is honestly. Hi guys, okay, so it's a few days later. Bailey has come, she is gone. She did an amazing job and now it is my turn to get to work. I've somewhat organized this. I need to actually like really organize today. Now you see that's messy already. Already, Eli, we just got it. We just got, we just got it. it. I haven't touched this in actually three years. I don't even know what is in here. Oh, we have your little emotional support leash, Daisy. What's in here? I don't even know. Okay, so I just throw things in here all the time. So we have, we have a lot of $1 bills. Next up, this one's pretty bad. This is my laundry room. <laughs> She's gorgeous, isn't she? What do we got going on here? Help. That's what we have going on. Whoa. <laughs> I am currently trying to organize all my exercise tops. We have a lot of stuff going on here, but I got rid of a lot of stuff and now I think there's going to be more structure. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get through all this. All right guys, we moved on to pretty much one of the last portions I need to work on, the one that I might be most scared for, which is, dun, 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 my shoe closet. I haven't gone through this thing in years. There are so many shoes here that are so cute, but I have never worn and probably will never wear, so I'm going to pull them out, go through them, be realistic and then donate and sell all the ones that I don't wear. Do you want to plug anything where you would sell it? Oh, check out my Poshmark in case you guys want to buy any of my shoes. I am a seven and a half US, 39 European. So if you have the same shoe size or maybe a friend, a mom, an aunt, a dad, whoever, who might want my shoes, 
check it out. Or the goggles. Okay, I'm gonna be actually realistic with what I wear and what I want, starting with these. They're blazing. <laughs> like these will look so cool on some people though. I think they're not very neat. Should I, I'm gonna wear them though. I'm gonna wear them, I'll wear them once. This is what happens guys. I'm gonna wear them for once for a day and then if I love them I'll keep them, if not I will donate. Keep you updated, only five shoes get thrown away out of this whole collection. Shut up. <laughs> a method to my madness how I've organized thus far. So we have random shoes at the top, just like boots and things. I have casual sneakers, fancier sneakers, Nike fancy sneakers, Adidas fancy sneakers, <laughs> sparkly shoes, working on this one, Nike athletic shoes, Adidas athletic shoes, and then this is black platforms and that's as far as I've gotten so far, but not too bad, right? All right okay. guys, moving on to pretty much the last part of the video, I am moving back to the kitchen. So I've been living here for about four years now and the one thing that I've never changed is this way that I decorated the shelves when I first moved in. That candy is actually almost four years old. So I'm sure we've all seen those pictures on Pinterest of like the goals kitchens with like the flower jars and everything like that. I've always wanted that and I decided to kind of make my space a little bit more mature and kind of take some of this stuff out and then uh, put that into my new kitchen. So let's get started. All right, so I got these big glass jars from CB2. They're so cute. I already filled them up with some things that I use on a regular basis. In here, I put vanilla protein powder, chocolate protein powder, and then we have rolled oats in this one. For the other two, I'm going to fill them up with almond flour and then coconut flour. I use these all the time to bake and things like that. And I just wanted to keep things that I actually use that can be really cute and aesthetically pleasing, but then also actually functional. This one's getting almond flour. Okay, this is coconut flour. Mmm, it smells so good. Fun fact, this is the first piece of decor I ever bought in my entire life for any apartment I ever had like six years ago in Hawaii. Ew, and dusty. Oh my God, it's so dusty. All right guys, uh, selling them on eBay. Ew. I need a whole bottle for each shelf. All right guys, so we finished this area. Doesn't it look so good? So I basically, oh, I'm just so excited. I have all the jars at the top and then I have extra glassware and things for people to use or for just decor, depending on which. And then these little jars are really special. I have my matcha tea in one. And then these three are actually, if you guys know my favorite alcoholic beverage is Crystal Light mixed with Tito's vodka and water. And I host a lot of pre-games here and things like that. And then we're always just going through, I'll show you the little like individual packets that look like this. And honestly, it just like wastes a lot of plastic. We go through like two packs a night with all of my friends. So I thought the better thing to do would be to buy the big packs that are made for pitchers and then pour them in these little jars. Hopefully you can't see my dishes, it's very messy right now. And then when people come over and we make mixed drinks, we can just take little spoonfuls of this rather than wasting so much plastic. So I thought that was cute and it looks nice and then also better for the environment. Yeah! Triple whammy! All right, we got a few more things to do. I need to finish up the kitchen, and then I have to clean up my bathroom, and then I have to clean up the front closet bathroom area as well. So, basically, for my bathroom in my room, I have this like shelving unit that is getting rusty, and it's actually not meant for the shower, but I just stuck it in there. So, what I'm going to do is actually move that out, and then I bought three of these little shelving things from the container store. One's gonna be for hair, one's gonna be for body, and then one will be like miscellaneous. And I'm just gonna organize everything in here so that they're nice and meant for the bathroom and won't rust like my other things. So, I'm gonna do that in a little bit. And then to finish up the kitchen, I got some different things. I got these cute little wooden great things from the container store as well. This is actually what Bailey told me to get. And I got four little ones to put on top of my fridge over there because it's just like empty. Well, except for that big box. And in here, we're gonna organize these. I also got this cute little like egg organizer from there. We'll do a little haul, shall we? I got, this has nothing to do with it, but you put this in the toilet after you poop and it makes them not smell and I wanted to try them. Then I got these for my office. These are little wall hooks, so disregard. Oh, from Home Goods, I got a marble, marble, what is this called? Pepper mill. I'm gonna keep that right there. It's cute, it matches the marble, and I just love it. Oh, a little bracelet organizer. Then I got this little acrylic 
cup holder, which actually, this is for toothbrushes, but I'm gonna use it to put pens in and I'll put it on my desk. So yeah, I got these things, got another wooden crate, and then I also got this little box bench to organize things in my closet. But yeah, I'm going to continue organizing the kitchen, the bathroom, the other bathroom, and my closet, and I'll see you guys for all the afters. guys so now my apartment is a hundred percent organized and cleaned so perfectly I finished up the closet I want to show you guys a little bit around I now have a dedicated sweatpant drawer and then jean overflow but before I was just shoving all my sweatpants in random areas I now have this here down here I moved all of my favorite sweatshirts I also donated so many things and I actually have like empty drawers now which is unheard of for me and then I organized all my favorite sweatshirts by category so like here's soul cycle like athletic ones here I have merch from concerts here I have merch from all my YouTube friends like it is all so organized and I'm so happy about it all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing Bailey and myself organize my apartment I feel so good that it's so nice and clean now even on the inside and I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one bye <laughs>